What's up everybody, Frankie here from Earth Films and it's peeping season. We're here for the foliage, but we're also here for the Reuben. So we're here at White Bear Restaurant right in Lake Placid, New York. So we're gonna try that Reuben. Let's do it. What's up guys, we are here inside the White Bear Restaurant to have their Reuben sandwich and it looks pretty good. And uh, before I get into the details of this sandwich, what makes a great Reuben sandwich is quality corned beef, rye bread, Swiss cheese, just a little more than usual, Russian or Thousand Island dressing. Put a lot of a lot of Russian on there, that's how I like it. Not enough to drown the sandwich, but enough to taste that it's there. Sauerkraut, just a little bit, not too much, but you definitely want to have it because it adds to the whole thing. So, dumping into this sandwich here, First thing I'm gonna notice is, and maybe things have changed since I've come back to the States, but this does not look like rye bread to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks kind of like whole grain bread, which you do what you gotta do. Um, and secondly, it looks like, if you get really close here, it looks like uh, there's like thumb marks in it, like they went to go place this sandwich onto the plate, which doesn't affect the taste or quality of the sandwich, but presentation wise, I gotta consider that. Next, you can see some Russian dressing on the side of the sandwich. That's amazing, that's always a good sign. But something that scares me is that this corned beef is a little too perfectly sliced, which might mean that it could be packaged. Which, you know, I guess if that's what, if Reuben sandwiches are not your main menu item, then it makes sense because it doesn't make sense to make a whole bunch of corned beef if you're not gonna pump that out. Um, but other than that, I, can, I can't even notice any Swiss cheese on there, but you can notice the uh, sauerkraut, which is okay, so. But here we are, we're in Lake Placid, New York, White Bear Restaurant, here we go, we're gonna try this Reuben sandwich right now, let's go. Okay. So far, the best thing about this is the fact that I can taste the Russian. This is, sandwich is a little cold. And um, yeah, I just, I can't jive with it, to be honest. That sauerkraut doesn't look cooked. It looks like it was maybe warmed up, but it maybe wasn't thrown on the grill. Um, the bread, there's a lot of bread there. Really, I'm not gonna complain about the bread, even though it's not rye. Um, but it's just, it's just okay. So I'm gonna get my second decision here by taking another bite, and then we're gonna figure out what the score is out of 10. It's okay. It's, it's cold. It's, it's, there's not even a lot of people in this restaurant. And, you know, for my first Reuben back in the United States of America, I don't know if it's something that I can jive with. I think I might have to get a second Reuben today uh, just to get this taste out of my mouth. And this score that I'm about to give it is going to reflect differently on the score that I gave Mr. Sub because I kind of highly rated that a 5.7 and I probably should have rated that lower. But this sandwich, I'm gonna have to give White Bear Restaurant, this Reuben sandwich, a four out of 10. It's all there, but it's, it's disappointing to say the least. And I don't recommend coming here for a Reuben sandwich. It's a beautiful location, especially if you're coming to Peeps and Foliage. I'm sure they have great other, other great uh, menu items, but this is like, you know, when, if you have a kid and they come back home with a poor report card and you're just, you're not, you're not mad, you're just disappointed. And I'm just disappointed right now. So with that being said, that's the score. It's a four. Didn't mean to rhyme that, but thank you as always for tuning in to Reuben Raiders and have a great day and eat a Reuben.